his favorite fish. Buying these four baby tarpon. Also a beautiful little datanoid here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Welcome back to Rob's Class, guys. In today's video, we're going to be buying some aquarium fish because this one fish store always does me the worst way. They always get something I can't help but spend my money on. So before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. So real quick before we go to the fish store, I wanted to give you guys kind of like a tour of everything we got going on. I moved around a lot of stuff. We caught a lot of stuff this week. So we're just going to do a quick little fish room tour so I can keep you guys updated what's happening in the fish room. So starting off with this tank, last week, we did end up catching some of these guys right here. We caught some convicts that are like your regular typical convict, as well as these guys with the really nice marbling. They're super cool. I am pretty sure the bigger convicts did beat up the little ones. So right now I only really see like three of the marbles and three of the other convicts. So it's a weird little group we got going on there. But to the right of them, we have the red devils we were catching from that other creek. They're all doing really well. They're all eating really well. I would be feeding them as well, but we already fed them this morning and over to the right of them we've got the living stone eye and the rusty cichlids they're all doing great they get along just fine but i'm not sure how they'll do in the big 120 gallon tank over there we might find out at some point we might not right below them we have the crimson tide rip tide i don't know i don't really remember what crimson they're called tide crimson tide roll cichlids tide, baby. roll tide baby they're doing really good we just did a little water change on them, so they're really happy. They eat like pigs. We haven't had any breed in quite a while, but fret not because we still have this whole tank of babies right here, right next to this left tank, which is full of baby Eastern Happy Cichlids. Now, the only reason why this tank is still a little bit green is because we haven't actually done a full, full water change on them yet because they're so small, I'm afraid to suck them up. Even with the little nets, it's a little risky because they're so small that just that little bit of suction could pull them in the net and kill them. But down here, to the right we have the rest of the crimson tide sickle is now we probably have like 150 of them in there they're all just kind of hanging out if you guys are interested in them let me know look right behind you big boy staring at you <laughs> he's like what are you guys doing over here but that's the big rami we'll get to the 300 gallon tank in a second down below the crimson tides we have a bunch of fish we've caught in the past we've got the koi those garamis we just got from the everglades and some other stuff but today we're going to be getting some monster fish and so i took a lot of fish and moved them around in this bag is actually one of the fish we're going to be buying today you guys will see very shortly what exactly that is but in this tank guys if you remember a while ago there were the marble dakara hybrids tiger shop knows her marble heart car hybrid got them like half an inch inch maybe this thing has blown up in size i'll lift up actually you might be able to see it right here you see that spotted fish down there next to the little dumpster red tail yeah that is that same fish in the last month or so he has blown up in size by like 10 times it's really impressive at the same time kind of worrisome because i don't know what to do with one of the fish that we bought today that is still up for debate now in this tank we have about 30 super red plecos as well as i want to say three lemon eye bristle notes plecos now these guys i'm not selling if you guys order super red plecos off the site they're coming straight from the breeder i'm just gonna have phil send them to your house i want to grow these guys out and get some pairs of them going and start breathing them myself and onto my main display tank so this tank right here is my 300 gallon they're pretty feisty and fired up you see my sabrina pike right here he's really hungry i haven't fed them in a couple days you know i'm just letting them clear out before i start power feeding them some more he's doing incredible you can see he's kind of like the tank boss at this point bottom left we have that tiger shovel nose my friend gave me now guys little red my i gave him to my friend He's doing incredible. Funnily enough, my friend ended up catching another red tail, just a little bit smaller than Little Red. So that's pretty awesome to see. The Garami's right here. He's developing that nice nuco hump. We still got the sharks and oh, Tiger Shovel Nose is yawn. Oh, he, he stopped yawning as soon as I pointed it out. He's shy. But the Phantom's doing good and everybody else is doing great in this tank. And so we had some cichlids that I was going to start a breeding project with. And actually, I still might. Just depends on what the cichlids end up wanting to do. But I had to empty out this tank right down here for them. So the Red Night Year cichlids are actually situated back in the original tank I put them in. They're all just hanging out right here. This tank, I haven't done a water change on a little bit. I'm going to be cleaning it tonight, most likely. So that is majority of the fish. We still have like 100 cichlids in that other tank. And these guys are doing incredible. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when I put my hand in this tank. Oh, they don't. Act. They could differentiate from food. But you could see the Oscar down there. The Oscars are doing just fine. Oh, <laughs> they bite. The Oscars do bite. 
Oh, I could catch them in my hand if I wanted to, but the Oscars are doing really good with the African cichlids. To my surprise, I really wasn't sure how they were gonna go together, but we also have a giraffe catfish and some rip saws in this tank just growing out. The rip saws seem to enjoy being in this aquarium a whole lot more now that they're not with a bunch of huge other aggressive South American fish. They're all doing great, eating great, no complaints with this tank. However, guys, today's video, I was planning on going over to the East Coast again to buy some fish. Then I went to this fish store today and I couldn't help myself. You guys will see why very shortly. But before I get to show you guys what we did buy today, I need your guys' opinion. Somebody offered me a 13 inch phantom catfish, a 13 inch giraffe catfish. That Garami was still staring at us, that's crazy. But let me know if you guys think it's worth buying them. He gave me very reasonable prices. Just let me know if you think I should pull the trigger. Just let me know. But with all that out of the way, guys, we're going to go get those new fish. Probably catch some live feeders for some of the fish because some of them might actually need it. They're small predatory fish, really hyped to get them. Today we're running into the aquarium and reef center to pick up some aquarium fish. We're gonna be buying these four baby tarpon listed $35 way out of my price range but I just have to do it I've been wanting some pet tarpon that are legal to keep for the longest so we're gonna get these guys and we're also going to be getting some other fish today all monster fish also a beautiful little datnoid here guys that they're gonna cut us a price on and camera girl is going to do me a favor and buy it for me I tried advising her against it because it's a, fish are expensive and if we start buying stuff we're just not gonna stop Yeah, that looks like an NTT, I think. Thin bar datnoid. Very, very pretty. We're gonna get them. Our girl did me a solid and bought me a beautiful datnoid. You can barely see him in here, but we're gonna put him into a tank with the tarpon. It's his favorite fish. So now we're back at the house, guys, with the tarpon. So I'm just gonna dump them right into this tank. It's got a full water change, no other fish. And I brought the water level down just a little bit because I don't want these tarpon getting spooked and just taking flight, which is definitely a risk. I might even need to build a lid just for this one. I tend to avoid that because the one time I did have a lid on a tank out here, they cooked, they overcooked, they heated. It was really tragic. We do have these tarpon, so I'm gonna grab one out for you guys so I can show you up close what they look like. They're basically like a really big shiner. And these are legal to keep. These are the Indo-Pacific tarpon. Yeah, rather than me spooking them all about, you guys could see them. It's interesting, they have a super light color. I'm betting they probably need some live food. So we're going to go to a creek and catch some mosquito fish, but baby tarpon in. I'm gonna get the rest of these guys dumped in here. Make sure they don't get caught in a corner of the bag. I believe we got four tarpon. So I might hold on to all of them. My friend Mikey does want two of them. However, I might not let them because I rarely ever see Indo tarpon locally at all. But we got the four tarpon chilling right there. I'm just gonna leave them alone, let them be. Next fish, guys, is the datnoid. I do not know what to do with the datnoid. My first thought was put them with the tarpon, but if you guys look at the datnoid, he's actually kind of big. Like, if he wanted to, he could 100% eat all of those tarpon. And he's too small for the 300 gallon tank for sure. The rest of my other aquariums, he could definitely get beat up in. And the only tanks that I think would make sense for the datnoid right now would either be the pleco tank with all my smaller plecos. I don't know if he'll eat them or the mini monster tank, the current one, which those fish are really big. Bichers in my experience that there's a slower moving fish tend to get a little bit nippy and they might take a chunk out of the datnoid, which would crush me and camera girl. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. Yes, camera girl. An idea, brother. An idea. Bicher. Yeah. Koi tank. By Koi tank. That might be the workaround. So you know what we'll do? Yeah, I like that idea. Because that way, the datnoid isn't with anybody who's gonna like, he's gonna eat. He's just gonna be in a tank with a couple bigger fish, which can't eat him. So it ends up, but that one Akara is so big. We might have to move. What if we move the Akara onto the 300 gallon tank? I don't think it's big enough. I don't think it's big enough quite yet. All right, guys, we're gonna take five and think about this. And so we came to a decision, guys. With much deliberation, we have decided we are going to be keeping the datnoid in the pleco tank. And the main reason is I really don't see him eating plecos. There's a chance. I'm uploading this literally tomorrow morning. So if you guys have any good feedback, let me know in the comments down below and I'll act on it really quick because it's just a gamble the whole way around. So the datnoid right here, I'm gonna get him out of the bag real quick. So we got the datnoid right here. He's absolutely beautiful. 
I'll add him in right here and we'll see how he does. Now you can see he's a little too big for the tarpon, I think. Rather than risk the tarpon, I'd rather get him added in here. That way, also, if I end up feeding live and he's not wanting to eat pellets, there's no competition for him. Nobody's going to be competing with him for food. And the same is true for the tarpon. So they'll be able to grow a lot faster. Those plecos do look bite-sized, though. I don't think he's going to mess with them. I don't think he's going to mess with them. I don't think they move the way he, like he'd want a predator to fish the move. You could, they honestly kind of look a little bit like snuff. But that is it for today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Should I buy the phantom giraffe? Should I move the datanoid and if I should which tank should I move them to and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video Deuces